I hereby summon all my imps. Hey everybody, it's Annabelle. So today I wanted to talk about the series. And how series 3 is getting a little bit, um... crowded at this point. If you were to look at the particular stats for Marvel Snap, there are currently 87 cards in pool 3. So, 87 cards in pool 3 is more than a pool 1 and pool 2 complete you can bind. So, your chances of roughly getting any one particular card in Marvel Snap are 1.14%. Which, if we round down, is basically about a 1% chance of getting any one particular card. And, the problem with that is, is if you're missing a key card, like, for example, you're missing... Uh, let's see what would be considered a key card. I'm still missing some key cards here. I'm not really missing anything too key at this point. That won't be the most key card that I should be missing at this point. Uh, let's just say for whatever reason that you're missing... You're missing Mystique. Mystique is what I would consider a pretty key card for a lot of, uh... Matches for a lot of decks for a lot of stuff. And if you happen to be missing her... Your chances of getting her if you just put into pool three is 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 less is basically a one percent. Now if you open another card and you get like Doctor Octopus, which is considered a pretty decently good card still to this day, and I'm missing him still. You know, here, here, here's a key one, Electro. Electro is, is, is pretty much uh, necessary for all ramp. He's one of the few ramp cards that exist. And if you happen to be missing him like I am, you know, your chances of getting him are still pretty low. And I would rather get an Electro on my next card pool and to get a Maria Hill. I mean, there's nothing wrong with Maria Hill by any stretch of the imagination. But if you're trying to tell me that Maria Hill is the same value as Electra, I'm gonna tell you no. And part of what they need to do and part of what needs to happen is they need to split the pools again. Pool 3 is getting too big. Somebody, people need to have the more key cards earlier than the cards that are just for, um, I'm gonna call them niche decks. Like, Nick Fury isn't needed. There's not too many decks that aren't them, right? Mr. Negative is kind of more on the niche deck. And pretty much what they have to do is they have to go through and, and reevaluate what's in pool 3. And honestly, it's just getting too heavy. I mean, you're, you're, when you say that pool 2 is only 25 cards, then pool 3 should be only about 25 cards. Now, is that reasonable? Not really, that's a little bit too low. But 36 would be more than enough. 
I mean, that's, you know, basically about three months worth of cards. If you're getting basically three per month, you know, plus, plus the ones that are going into, uh, the rewards track. I mean, it, 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 it just gets to the point where you're going to have somebody who comes in here and it's going to be way too hard for them to get a key card. If you, if you are, if you want an Electra right now, and you don't have Electra, I mean, yeah, I'm all the way up at two, sorry, uh, 328, 3286, so, so basically I'm, I'm going to say that I'm at like 33. Hey, Frozen. So basically what has to happen is they need to basically re-break down the pools. Because of the simple fact that, like, if you're missing somebody who's key for you, and you just happen to be missing them for whatever reason, it sucks. Like, if you're missing Juggernaut or you're missing... Leech even, or even Maximus. Can't you draft a free series card now? Once per month, yes, but here's the problem. While it's nice to get one free card a month, and it is nice to change it, but now you get one free card a month. You can't buy any more Series 3 cards. Once you've got that Series 3 card, and I'll show you on my page. My Series 3 card is now blocked out. Until next month rolls around. And no matter how many credits I have, no matter how many collector's tokens I have, I can't buy another one. And even if I could buy them, I should have to buy them. I mean, the, the simple fact is, as you're opening up um, caches, and as you're getting up in the ranks, there are certain cards that are more um, necessary, more viable, I should say. I mean, Black Bolt is not a card that you need right off the bat. But a card like uh, Captain Marvel is, is a pretty good, decent card. You know, Debris is more niche. But Juggernaut is more, you know, uh, viable. And because of the simple fact is, I could be missing Juggernaut still right now. I could be missing Mystique right now. I could be missing any one particular card. And I shouldn't have to wait till next month to get that one particular card. And if you take and you look through the cards, it's just getting too big of a pool. Because right now you're up to 67 cards in pool 3. You know, I don't want to take and get 67 cards off of this. If you figure that it takes you about four, full three is the large pool and it's only going to get bigger every single week, every single month. Because nothing... Mm -hmm. The pool three is only going to get bigger and bigger unless they make unless they break it down into into smaller chunks. Because next month another four cards are going to enter into pool three. So come 
April. Instead of there being 87 cards in, in pool uh, three, you're gonna be looking at 90. And the next one, if you're looking at 93, then 96. So April is 90, uh, May is 93. June is 96. You basically have over 100 cards in pool three at that point. I mean, and if you happen to be missing the stake, that's a card you want slash need in the earlier games. So basically, my entire suggestion is just that they re-break it down and say, okay, here is your new pool three. These are the cards that we think are more valuable earlier on in the game. These are the cards that are key cards. These are the cards that you can build stuff off of. I mean, when you're talking about stuff like um, Ronin, that's not a good card to get right off the bat. Now, is it a bad card? No. But is it a card you need right off the bat? No. But like Sarah? Sarah's a card you can really use right off the bat. I mean, there's certain cards that even need to, I believe, need to be brought down to pull two, maybe in pull one. I mean, there is absolutely positively no reason. Wait, there's an alphabetical. That when you get down to. Lost, that Lost should be Series 3. She is the only neutral, 100% neutral card who is not a base card. Everybody else is in, in the neutral set is a base card. You get them before, turn, before you even hit pull 2. I mean, some of them aren't necessary, like Viper. Viper's a, a tech card. But if you open up Viper before you ever open up uh, Electro, you know, you, 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 you've gotten a card that's a niche card before you've gotten a staple card. So basically all I'm looking for them to do and all I'm basically asking for them to do is every time they get to about, I'd say, 35, 36 cards, is to make another break. They say, okay, these cards need to happen before you get any other cards. These 36 cards are pool one. These 30 cards, cards are pool two, or series one, series two. And these ones are series three, or make them into blocks. Like, this is, this is what we feel is, are the most important cards to have. Because the problem that you run into is when you are starting up the game, beginning the game, cards like uh, Destroyer are really useful. So if I open up a destroyer straight off the bat, and I just open, and I just got the pull three, and I open up a destroyer, destroyer by itself is, can basically make a deck for you. That's a pull three deck, a series three deck. But if I open a card like Adam Warlock. Yeah, the problem is, is that what they're looking at doing for the for the token shop, is they're looking on breaking the token shop into a couple of different things. 
they're looking at breaking it into what's the new card for this week. So, um, the token shop would say no for me right now because that's the one I got pinned. And it would also have Kitty Pride for me because that's the one that just came out. But it's not going to have Mystique for me. No, I already own Mystique, but even if I didn't own Mystique, it wouldn't give me Mystique. Because Mystique is a Series 3 card. And I shouldn't have to also waste the tokens on those cards. I should just be able to get them by going through caches. I should have a more reliable cash grab. Now you could put some surprises in those caches. Maybe you could get something that's from the next block while you're going up the previous cache so that you can get some kind of that surprise, it's kind of that um, joy of, of getting those particular cards. But if you are trying to get up and you get something that you don't want that's not good for you, like you get an animal off, that's not really helping you. If you get an Agent 13, yeah, that's great, but that's not really helping you. Nobody is making a deck based off of Agent 13. Even Apocalypse is fine, but Apocalypse needs a lot of help behind him. You know, Artem Zola is a great card, but if you don't have the cards to support it, it doesn't help you. I'm somebody who plays Artem Zola like it's going out of stuff. That's basically what I'm looking for them to do, is just, just to say, hey, Every 35 cards, or every 36 cards, every, so that's just the thing, every 36 cards then say, hey, let's put a break in here and make this a new set and figure out which cards really belong in the beginning and which cards really don't belong that much into the beginning. Like, again, you know, a Tuma you can get right now. And as good as a Tuma is, a Tuma is not how you're making a deck. Nobody is making a deck off of a Tuma. It's a good card. But it's not a card you need. And if they were to split it into saying, hey, these 35 cards belong in the beginning, and these 35 cards belong in the end. You can still switch up how those 35 cards were retrieved. But that way you can actually get the cards that are more needed in the beginning, if that makes any sense. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching, and as always, remember, play for fun!